Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. <laughs> Whatever you thought you lost, Whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Success and wealth in the kingdom is provision made for God's children. But look at what this spirit is doing. It's to make sure you are denied of it. You will not serve God without. You will talk about the God that blesses. And there is nothing in your hand to show about his blessing. You have no evidence. You talk about the God of abundance and you are living in lack and want. By this spirit, not by God. Because this spirit has a way of manipulating people's mind. Prosperity in the kingdom has principles. So for you to assess the prosperity there are principles to apply what this spirit will do is to make sure you will not apply the principle then you live in lack and want expecting blessings to fall from heaven it doesn't fall blessings in the kingdom comes by application of principles principles don't fail you say whatever a man saw it he will do there is a reaping. But the reaping cannot come until you sow. The reaping cannot come until you sow. The sowing of seed is not necessary. It's not only when you give. No. The sowing of seed goes beyond giving. The sowing of seed includes investing in people's life. The sowing seed includes taking certain steps to make somebody smile. When you make somebody laugh, someone somewhere will make you laugh. Come on, are you listening to me? So that you do not just have this little parochial mind of it's only when I give. And you cannot give if you don't have. So my assignment as your pastor is to teach you how to have. Is to teach you how to create wealth. For thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For he is he that giveth thee power. To do what? To create wealth. You are giving power to create wealth. Kingdom. God did not give us finished product. He gave us raw materials. It is our ability to turn the raw materials into usable goods. That will bring money. Until you create value. You will not have money. You may be in the kingdom speaking in tongues. You must create value. So Moses. You are not going anywhere. Stay here. Somebody say I'm going. Let me give you some. Few characteristics of Pharaoh. Number one. Is this that prolong your stay in a particular situation longer than necessary please write it down it, he prolongs your stay he causes your pain to be longer he causes your tears to flow ceaselessly it's the spirit that causes your tears to flow ceaselessly God in chapter 15 of Genesis
promises said to Abraham, your seed will go into a strange country and they are going to stay 400 years. At the end of 400 years, I will come to get them out and I will get them out with abundance into a land that I have promised. But the people stayed 430 years. Who extended these 30 years? Who added 30 years? Is Pharaoh. When you are in a particular situation, li please listen to these principles of warfare. When you are in a particular situation that you ought to be free from, something that you have expected that ought to have ended five years ago, you are still in it now. And it's frustrating you. Friend, you need to locate what power is operating. The power that is operating here is pharaohic spirit. That's the spirit that says you can't go. You need to stay longer. You ought to have been married since 2014. This is 2000 and what? How many years? Eight years. So it's keeping you. It's keeping you. And look at what has happened. Do you realize that when the people came to demand for their exit to go, their problem multiplied. It's like when you take some days to fast and pray for this thing to change. That is when hell break loose. The spirit to do it is heroic spirit. Am I communicating? Deal with pharaohic spirit. He extends your pain. Extends your tears. Extends your suffering. There are some of us who have gone through the cycle of what we should go through. Please listen to me. Life involves some issues. There are some issues. I've told you here, if you must pass through that door, don't expect to jump. You will go through the door. Am I communicating? You will go through the door. We have the problem lies that if you get to the door and meet the adversaries, you got to fight. Somebody fight. You can't come back. You can't come back. Somebody said, I refuse to go back. Fight adversaries and break through the door. Until you break through the door, you won't enter into breakthrough. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week, a week of testimony unlimited testimony somebody shout and receive it fight there are certain processes in life you must go through you must go through to become what you are created to become so do not think that God will do otherwise it is included in your destiny. The Bible, says, the, the Bible says Jesus must go through Samaria. And in going through Samaria, there was a woman by the well. And through that woman, the people of Samaria will be saved. So he must go through. There are certain storms in life. They are there to shepherd you. You know, in Gina Greg, I, I have been reading your book in the last two weeks. And it asked me to put more value on you, honestly speaking. I know I have known all these years, but I have not known these parts that you went through. And for you to go through all this and still standing at 71, I salute you. Because what makes 
great man is what a man has gone through. It is not what he achieved. It is what he has gone through and still standing. And, and now I value your Christianity more because you've gone through a lot enough for you to say, God, you know what? Excuse me for now. Let me just face my life the way I am. But it didn't change your mind. It didn't change your mind. I salute the grace of God upon your life and God will keep you. Please help me celebrate a great man. Every glory has what? A story. Don't, don't dream to be like somebody until you know his story. Don't say, I wish God blessed me like this man. I wish God blessed me like this man. Wish like God blessed me like this woman. You don't know the woman's story. Ladies and gentlemen, there are scars on the hand of great people. Lift up your right hand. Say, Lord, help me to understand the purpose for my creation and the purpose for my being born again. Lord, I confess this morning, I do not regret anything. Whatever I'm passing through is a part of my journey. I must pass through it to get into where I'm going. Therefore, Lord, I ask for grace. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear you shout aloud, amen? amen? Another character of this Pharaoh spirit is to increase your expenditure and decrease your income. That's another character of Pharaoh spirit. When you get into that level where there are so many outlets from you and suddenly what was bringing what we are using has stopped. Instead of binding spirits and binding wizard, deal with this spirit that has the character of Pharaoh. He said to the taskmasters, you know what? Don't give them materials they use if they there is a material they use to build one house the the government supply them material to build one house in five days or one house in one month now the government said we will supply you the material but you must build the same house in one month the people struggled and they couldn't and what happened it was beating upon beating upon beating when a man's expenditure exceeds his income continuously he will end up poor and wretched you know why he will borrow to make up and he gets to a point nobody want to borrow for him. nobody want to lend him any money because he has borrowed and the more he borrows he cannot pay are you listening to me i don't know if you have been, been there before i have i have in those days we are borrow and I couldn't pay. I've told you here before. I had such anointing that when I tell you, you would immediately give me. But the anointing to pay is what I do not have. And some people left church because of it, because the man is talking, the man that's talking is a debtor. Because I borrowed to start business, they both the money and the business die. So what will I do? I need to borrow from somewhere to pay who I borrowed from. You know when on the sad day of getting salary, two days to the day of getting salary, you are the saddest person in life. Because you calculate and calculate and recalculate, it's like the calculator is not working. The problem is not the calculator. The problem is that you have so much I, 
Am I communicating? You know, the, this, this spirit operates in such terrible way that he makes you, you lose sense of calculations. When I mean calculation, I mean applying wisdom. You know what it will do to you? What the spirit does? It creates situations where your expenditure will be three times than your income. 